damn refrigerator! I'm coming, Ma! Sarah Miles, I swear you're the only thing that keeps me sane. Megan, sweetie, do you want milk or juice in your lunch today? I don't care. Juice it is, then. Oh. Look at that. Mommy's new poem just got another like. Sarah! I don't want to go to school. Sweetheart. I want to stay with you. Sarah, have you seen my phone? You left a charge in me. Do you have your daddy's phone? I was playing friendly fish on it. Sweetheart, Daddy's gonna give you your own phone so you can play friendly fish anytime you want. Hmm? Mm. Honey, why don't we make a little deal? You put a smile on your face for school, and when I come pick you up, we can do something extra special. Like what? Well, we could go skiing on the other side of the mountain. Can Daddy come? Oh, sweetheart, I'd love to, but... Daddy's gonna be working late tonight. Again? Ma? Mm hmm? I got you a new book. Well, I'll just put it over there with the rest of them. I think you should actually read this one. It's about... Well, oh, I don't care what it's about. Oh, you spend too much time in them books. That's why you don't have any friends. I have friends. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the Bronte sisters. What's that one you keep talking about? Uh, writes all those stupid poems. Sarah Miles, mm. and they're not stupid. Hmm. Give me a break. Total waste of time. What you need to do is to get out there and find yourself a man. Yeah, it worked out great for you. What'd you say? You bring me my dinner. Yes. Mm. What are you still doing up? Who is she this time? You're not gonna say anything? What do you want me to say? Yeah. I guess there's nothing to say. Do what? What can you do? This. Us. You really have it tough here, huh? I'm not talking about the house or the money. I'm talking about our marriage. I've had a long day. Daniel, I'm leaving. Now, don't be ridiculous. I'm serious. I don't know what else to do. You go. You go with nothing. I told you I don't care about the money. You go without Megan, too. She's not a thing. She's our daughter. You know what I do, Sarah. And you know how I do it. I don't lose, ever. Daniel. You try and take away my daughter. She'll grow up without a mother. Get out. What happened? What does it look like I fell? Help me up. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night, Mom? I need sugar. You're supposed to keep something to eat next to your bed. I don't need a damn lecture. Help me up, damn it. What would you do if I weren't here? Where the hell else would you be? Don't stand there like an idiot. I don't appreciate the way you're speaking to me. 
and have a life, Mom. Poor little Lee. Tom. Oh, Daddy's little girl is so... Don't! Fun. Don't call me that! Lee! Get out of here right now! Stop your whining and help me up! Help yourself. We're all set. I'll see you at three. Cracked concrete. A single weed stretches toward the sun. Girl, I do not see what you see in that woman. Are you kidding? Sarah Miles is a genius. Soft summer solace drowning in an empty pool. She's just so obvious. <laughs> you have no clue. There's a reason she was published only once. The brilliant female poets died before they became famous. Look at Emily Dickinson or Sylvia Plath. Well, or... unless she gets hit by a bus, I'm pretty sure the poetry of Sarah Miles is doomed to obscurity. Hey, Daniel. Hey, I can't talk right now. I'm busy and I have to work late. Tonight? How late? I can't say. I have a meeting with the same clients. I get it. It's business. It's always business. Yeah. Hello? Love books? Yeah. I was thinking we could have authors come in and read their works, do book signings. You have someone in mind? Actually, yes, I, I do have someone in mind. Sarah, it's Will Lawrence calling. I saw the caller ID, but I thought it must be a mistake. It has been a long time. How you doing? I'm well. Listen, the reason I'm calling is because we have an offer for you. Really? Don't get too excited. It's just for a reading. A reading? After all this time? Yeah. It's at an independent bookstore here downtown. There's no money in it or anything, but the woman did seem very passionate about the idea. And I told her I'd let you know. Thank you. I will text you her number. Her name's Lee. Lee. Oh my God, she's really here. I'm Sarah Miles. Lee. I should have called first, but I No, just... no, 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 that's okay. I'm, I'm just so glad that you came. Um, do, can we get you anything, or do you want to take a sure. seat? Okay. I didn't know that there were still bookstores like this. Uh, yeah. Do you really think that anyone's going to be interested to hear me read? 
Of course, of course they are. You... Your work really speaks to people. Thank you, that's, that's really sweet of you to say. Uh, um, so we were hoping that you could come by as soon as Saturday, if that's, if that's okay with you. Uh, I, I just have to figure out which pieces to read. If I may, I think it would be so great if you did a mix of silent echoes with um, some of the poems from your blog. Vacant Lot is my absolute favorite. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. <laughs> See, Mom, I have a friend now, a real friend. Beautiful, honey. I'm gonna frame it and hang it in my office. Daniel, do you think you could watch Megan for a couple hours tomorrow, or should I ask Nina? I can't think of anything I'd rather do. We got a date? Yeah. What are you gonna be doing? Oh, I just have a couple of errands to run. Good job. No more my savior, no more your slave. Forever a prisoner, my freedom, your grave. That was amazing. Yeah, I think it went okay. Okay? Hearing those poems and your words with, with your heart was profound. <laughs> Thank you. That last piece, uh, the newer one, I've never heard someone capture the desperation of a, an abusive relationship so perfectly. What makes you think it's about that? Old and controlling. Full of hate. All he could do was hurt. I'm sorry. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Is the piece about your father? I actually never knew my father. Or my mother. Um, I was raised in foster care. Oh. Then... Your husband? I actually promised Daniel that I would be home for dinner, so really not used to sharing my work like this. You know, I also uh, write a poetry newsletter. It's no big deal, but I would love to interview you if you had time. Let me think about it. Yeah. Thank you again. Bye. Mr. Mouse said something came up at work and he wouldn't make it home for dinner. so caught up in our perfect life that I didn't see what was happening. I lost touch with family and friends. Everything that I do, everything... Your daughter? Violent, no, but he did threaten me. Yeah, you mentioned that. He works in construction. 
so he had connections. And if he knew that I was even here, I assure you that we will be quite discreet. I don't want his money. I just want to be able to take my daughter far away from him. Assuming you're right about his infidelity, once we gather evidence, you will have your divorce. But with your husband's resources, you're likely going to be looking at shared custody. I do. I'm seeing Sarah later today. You would have loved her mom. I mean, she's so smart and beautiful and kind. It's like we're soulmates. You have exquisite taste. And many things. Your wife is a lucky woman. <laughs> we said they were for her. Yeah? Yeah, it's me. What's up? I think someone's following me. Where are you? Downtown. We need to find out what this is about. OK, I'll put someone on it. Well, when Silent Echoes was published, it actually did really well. You know, for, for poetry. <laughs> um, I was invited to do readings across the country. And, you know, I was pregnant with Megan, but it was early, so I really wanted to go. Anyway, Daniel, that's my husband, um, sort of talked me out of it and my publisher lost interest. And what about your blog? It's been my lifeline. I'm totally amazed at how much support I've gotten from my fans over the past couple of years. That's because your work is amazing. Thank you. You know, Lee, until I met you, I didn't realize how isolated I've become. I hope you don't mind me saying, but being married should never leave you feeling alone. An English major, too. I had this big dream of moving to New York. As a writer? Oh, God, no. No, 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 I could never. I, I wanted to work in publishing. What stopped you? My father died. He killed himself, actually. My mom. I just couldn't leave her alone. Maybe now's the time to follow your dreams. Hey, uh, there's this library down the street and they're having their monthly book sale. And I was gonna go check it out. Would you wanna come with? I've got some time. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm just gonna run to the restroom. Okay, yeah. Excuse me. Was that Sarah Miles, the poet? Why do you want to know? I'm a lit major. I'm one of her biggest fans. Like, she's up there with Sylvia Plath. I'd love to meet her. Sarah is a very private person. Yeah, no worries. Maybe. Get out of here now, or you'll wish you never met me. Listen, I'm just interested in her work. That's it. Don't touch me! This guy, he just grabbed me. I did not. She's crazy. Sarah! Is it really something? You're gonna leave me again. Do you really think I wouldn't find out? Find out what? A divorce lawyer? Listen close, because here's what you're gonna do. Tomorrow morning, you're gonna call Miss McKinnon, you're gonna tell her one of two things. Option A, you're gonna tell her 
You've had a change of heart. You're sorry, but your services are no longer required. Option B, you're gonna have her file for divorce, but you're gonna give all custody rights to Megan 100%. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Sarah Miles. Oh, hi, Sarah. I wasn't expecting to hear from you. Um, I've had a change of heart. Detective Collins, your husband is Daniel Miles? Yes. Why? I'm very sorry to have to tell you, your husband is dead. What? It appears to have been a robbery. He was shot. His watch and wallet were taken. We got his name from the car registration. Daniel's dead? Again, I'm sorry. Do you know what he was doing last night? He said he was out with a client. Do you know the client's name? No. Morning, Mommy. Good morning, sweetheart. Last night, someone tried to steal your daddy's money, and they hurt him. No. Is he okay? He's not okay. He's, um... What do you mean? He's gone, baby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Your daddy's gone. No, you're lying. Honey, daddy? Know, it's really, it's really. Daddy! Hard. Daddy! Most of these people are Daniel's friends. I don't know what to say to them. No one expects you to say anything. Let me get that. No, 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 I'll go. I can't stand I'm sorry. That. I heard about Daniel in the news. I should have called. I didn't, oh, I didn't realize. No. Come in. Are you sure? Of course. Okay. The victim was definitely screwing around on his wife. I talked to the girl he was with. She says it was their first time. I got the sense it wasn't his. <laughs> Any witnesses? A couple of people heard shots. Nobody saw anything. There have been a bunch of drug-related robbery homicides in that area, just like this one. Except for the car. Car? If it was a straight robbery, why didn't they take the car? The key is maybe the guy's wife. Plus, he owns a construction business. Could have ties to organized crime. You know, Chris, sometimes a robbery is just a robbery. I'm not feeling this is one of those times. Lee, you 
don't have to do that. Well, it's the least I can do. Magnus sleep. Finally. How is she doing? There aren't words. I'll see you tomorrow. I can't believe that he's gone. It's weird. I feel guilty. Guilty? It's not like I'm happy that he's dead. It's just that... I had to wait for my father to kill himself before I could start living my life. I can start living now. Really living. That's nothing to feel guilty about. Because we are all God's children. And with that in mind, we can find peace. something, please? That's Daddy's place. I'm sorry, honey. Thank you. It's okay. I understand. Hey, you know, my mom passed away to see her there waiting for me. Do you miss her? Of course I miss her. But I have to believe that she's in a much better place. Heaven? All the angels. She sleep? Finally. Hey, uh, I got you a little something. What's the occasion? I don't know. It's called a thank you gift. Thank you for what? Oh, I love Byron and Keats. I thought you might. It's a special edition. Lee, this must have cost a lot. Mom left me some money, and I don't have anything else to spend it on, so. <sighs> well, thank you for the thank you. You're welcome. Sarah, your work has really evolved. The complexity, the depth, the honesty. A few more pieces, uh, the right pieces. And there's another book here. You really think so? I do. I have never been more clear about what I want. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make that happen. I can't wait for the book to come out. Actually, would you mind taking a look at a few of my pieces in advance? Really? I would be honored, yes. You have to promise to be brutally honest. Cross my heart. Hey, we should celebrate. Would you want to go for drinks Friday night? I, I don't think that I'm up for a night on the town yet. Well, at least you've embraced being single. I don't know, Lee. I felt like... Well, you just need to start living your own now. It's going to be so much better, I promise. Searching and seeking something amiss. Wandering lost. Crystallized. It's a beautiful piece. But? Well, you have this image down here, wandering lost in a crystal mist, which is brilliant. But I just didn't see. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> no, 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 you're absolutely right. I've been so worried, it's been hard to focus. Lee, I really appreciate your help. I really appreciate you. Mommy, come see what I made. I'll be right back. Sweetheart. 
heart. That's beautiful. Mina helped me. Only a little. Your daughter's quite the artist. Mina, you need a vacation. I think it's perfect. You're getting soft. <laughs> no, no, really. It is. Hey, uh, there's this jazz band that I love and they're playing Saturday night. I thought we could go. I can't. Sarah, you've been working so hard. I know, it, it helps me keep my mind off. I know, but we need to blow off some steam. Actually, I'm going to an event with my publisher that night. He said that there are some people that I have to meet. Oh. Will? I've seen the way he looks at you. He's... He's just a friend. I'm gonna go make us some tea, yeah? Why did someone kill Daddy? A lot of reasons. Will the police get them? I hope so. We did manage to find one witness. They were out walking their dog and noticed someone sitting in an older model sedan. When they heard shots, they looked out, saw the shooter run back to that same car and... Waiting to kill him? So it would appear. Um, well, I, I do know that he dealt with some unsavory characters in his business. Can you give me some names? No, Daniel always spared me the details. You said you were at home the night your husband was killed. Yes, with my daughter. Miss Miles, did you know about your husband's affairs? I suspected. Must have made you angry. I'm sorry. You don't think that, that I... It's my job to consider every possibility. I don't know who did. Look, if there's nothing else, I'd like to get home to my daughter. To Sarah Miles, I thought we were supposed to be celebrating. What's wrong? The police think that I killed Daniel. That's ridiculous. I don't know what to do. Oh, okay, we'll try to calm down. What did they say exactly? Apparently there was a witness to the shooting. A witness? Uh. Some neighbor. They, they saw someone waiting outside that girl's apartment, so now the police think that it was planned. 
Did they say that they got a good look at this person's face? No, no, but the cops know about Daniel's cheating, so. Sarah, you didn't kill her. What about the wife? She says she was at home with her daughter. You talked to the kid? She was asleep at the time. That's convenient. Anyway, her car doesn't fit the description. She could have hired someone. Her husband controlled all the money. If she paid a hitman, she did it with loose change and coupons. Or she made a deal. Cash on delivery. She does have a lot of it now. But not in the way you're thinking. Too bad, because the way I'm thinking is pretty hot. <sighs> hey, uh, have you ever had a friend and it's like they're a part of you? Like the part that's been missing or something? Not that I'm not sleeping with. <sighs> Can't you get your mind out of the gutter for one second? No, why would I do that? <laughs> Is quick. Really sick. Is she gonna be all right? I hope so. They said she needs to rest for at least a week, maybe two. Well, if you need anything, anything at all, I'm here for you. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, there is one thing. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. So. She's had her bath and her dinner, and you have my cell if you need anything. Yes. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Won't we, Munchkin? Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you again so much for helping me out. Of course. Hey. Wow. You look great. Thanks. So do you. Thanks. What time will you uh, be home? Uh, we shouldn't be too late. I'll call you. Okay. See you soon. to engage in polite conversation with everything that's been going on lately. You mean with your housekeeper? And the fact that I'm being investigated for Daniel's murder. What are you talking about? Apparently, Daniel's cheating makes me a suspect. OK, Sarah, you need a lawyer. I have one. Colton Friedman, my divorce attorney, referred me. I know him. He's excellent. I'm meeting with him on Monday. Great. Is she asleep? Like an angel. I shouldn't be too much longer. No, 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 your career is important. Take your time. All right. If you need anything, text me. I have everything I need.
some more waffles, Munchkin? No, thanks. I'm full. Me too. Oh, no, 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 Lee. Leave them. It's, it's no big deal. No, please. You've done enough, really. Are you sure? Sit. Okay. <clears throat> uh, hey, you know, I was thinking if the cops do decide to charge you with Daniel's murder, I can say I was with you that night. I already told them that I was with Megan at home. So say that you made a mistake, that you got confused? I don't know. Without an alibi, a jury's gonna think the worst. Let's wait and see what happens. Hi, can I please get the number for Solomon House Publishing? From what I can gather so far, the police have found nothing concrete. It's because I'm innocent. That doesn't preclude them from building a circumstantial case. Is there anything else? Anything at all? My husband, um... He hit me. Do the police know? No. I didn't tell them. It only happened once. Does anybody else know? Your daughter? No. No, no one. All right. Let's keep it that way. And please don't say anything more to the police without me. Well, you could have called. This is in person, it's Okay. Solomon House is interested in you. What? They're the biggest publishers in the city. I know who they are. How do they know about me? I sent them some of your poems. You shouldn't have. It's the least I could do. No, Lee, I mean, you shouldn't have. Not without asking me first. I already have a publisher. I know, but he's small time. You deserve better. Will knows me. He knows my work. He's using you, just like Daniel. Will is nothing like Daniel. He's my friend. I'm your friend. I, I, I want what's best for you and for your career. Lee, look. Uh, I have to go pick up Megan soon. I'm sorry, I, didn't, I shouldn't have said that. I, it's just, this is an amazing opportunity. Wait until you meet the woman from Solomon House. I'm not meeting anyone. Will has believed in me since the very beginning. He's earned my loyalty. I'm sure he thought the same about Daniel. Will you stop bringing up Daniel? Whatever his fault, he is dead yeah, now. Yeah, he is. That's right, and he deserved it. That is way out of line. Sarah, I... I have to go. Wait. sweetie. Eat your dinner. Lee's getting to be a bit much. Yeah, sounds like it. Although, Solomon House is pretty impressive. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm glad. Keeps calling. You know you can block her number, right? It's me again. We really need to talk. Show up like this, Lee. Sarah, please. I'm serious. No more calls, no gifts. You're upset. I understand. I, I went way too far. I can see that now. Listen to me. I just wanted to help. You want to help? Give me some space, all right? I would do anything for you. For murder, for God's sake. 
You don't have to worry about that. What do you mean? Just that you're innocent. How do you know? You don't even know me. I do know you. I know that you're caring and kind, too kind to hurt anyone, even if someone deserved it. You said that before. Daniel did not deserve to die. I should have never laid a hand on you. What did you just say? She said he didn't deserve you. How do you know that he hit me? You just... Were you spying on me? Of course not. Sarah, I have to go. Goodbye, Lee. Colton Friedman, leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, it's Sarah Miles. There's someone that you need to look into. But, uh, I told Friedman I thought we should meet in person. It's fine. This Lee sounds like a real piece of work. Yes, she is. Now, she does own a late model sedan. Do you think she killed your husband? I don't know. But she's been stalking me, and she seems unstable. You told me before that you knew about your husband's infidelity. I also told you that I did on records. Jean McKinney is the best divorce lawyer in the city. Any conversation my client may or may not have had with an attorney is privileged. Would have been tough to get that divorce, what with the prenup. We found a copy in your husband's office. We're done here. What happened? McKinney couldn't get proof, so you opted for a more permanent solution. No. Don't say another word. Or did your husband find out what you were up to and threaten you? Because if that's the case, you might be able to plead justifiable homicide. I didn't kill Daniel. Are you arresting her? Not at the moment. Didn't think so. Come on, let's get you home. Hey, you need anything before I head home? No, thank you. How are you feeling? Good, much better. I'm really glad you're back. Me too. Night, Megan. Night, Nina. Okay, you, bedtime. When is Auntie Lee coming over? I don't know. Can she come tomorrow? I don't think so, sweetheart. You know, she's been so busy lately that I have hardly seen her myself. You didn't think I'd know you'd show up here.
heard from Friedman. Crawford, the investigator, he's yeah. missing. What happened? Nobody knows. Apparently, he didn't come home last night, and no one can reach him, not even his wife. You don't think that it might be? All I know is that he was going to investigate Lee, and now he's gone. All right, you have to go to the police right now. With what? I don't have any proof, not to mention, they think that I killed Daniel. Sarah, if you're right about Lee, then there's no way you can be around there. It's way too dangerous. The only thing that I have going in my favor is the way that she feels about me. If I play into that, maybe she'll let her guard down. Yeah, or maybe you'll go missing. There is no other way. Megan just lost her father, and I'm not about to let her grow up with her mother in prison. Okay. I've been thinking. I was wrong, and you were right. Really? Yeah, about everything. If it's not too late, I would still like to meet with Solomon House. Yeah, that can be arranged. I'm really sorry, Lee. It's, it's been so long since I had a real friend. What are you doing tonight? I'm just working until six. Let me make you dinner to celebrate. Yeah, I'd love that. Do you mind if we do it at your place? Nina's gonna watch Megan. That way, you know, it'll just be the two of us. Sounds perfect. Yeah, it does. Come on in. Sarah, that was amazing. It's my pleasure. Wait. Here's to us always being there for each other. No matter what. To us. To us. Why don't you go relax and I'll get dessert out? You really went all out. Like the song says, that's what friends are for. <laughs> There's more if you want. I'm good. I feel a little... Are you okay?
What's your emergency? Uh, yeah, I, I, I need the police. My friend, she just tried to kill me. No, 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 no. Step out of the car with your hands up. Let me see those hands. What did I do? Turn around. I can explain that. You can explain to the detectives. I really can't explain everything. One sec. Interview with Sarah Miles, January 24th. Ms. Miles, have you been advised of your Miranda rights? I have. And in the presence of your attorney, Colton Friedman, you agree to answer questions? I do. For the record, against the advice of counsel. I have nothing to hide. Your friend, Lee Maxson, says you confessed to killing your husband. That's a lie. That 9 millimeter automatic we found in your car is on its way to ballistics. That's hers. That's Lee's. How about you start from the beginning? Look, I know it sounds crazy, but it was Lee. You tell me you believe her. Well, the P.I. she hired, Paul Crawford, is missing. His car was found at a parking garage downtown. No prints. You've got a jealous wife who admits she knew about her husband's affairs, plural. If the ballistics come back positive, it's a slam dunk. Why would she be so careful to use an unregistered gun and wipe it clean of prints and then be so careless to drive around with all that evidence? Ours is not the reason why. Let the DA deal with conspiracy. Thank you for getting me out on bail. Oh, we're just lucky the judge is a soft spot for kids. Thank Megan for that. You do understand. She's saying I killed her husband? She's rather adamant about it. If there's anything I'm guilty of, it's not calling you when I first suspected what she'd done. Why didn't you? Well, what I told myself at the time was that she couldn't have done it. But now... But now? Deep down, I think I always knew. But I felt sorry for her. He hit her, you know? Did she tell you that? No. He hit her that night. How do you know? She told me. That's why I went right over there. After we talked for a while, she asked me if I could watch Matt. It was just easier for her, I guess. Ms. Miles also accuses you of killing a private investigator she hired, Paul Crawford. I don't even know who that is. Plus, um, I hate guns. My father killed himself with one. How's it work? Well, if mommy were to leave the house, the police would know where I went. What if the police think you're bad? I told you, sweetheart, it's a mistake. What kind of mistake? I will explain it when you're older, okay? I promise. Now, come on. It's time for bed. Of course, Nina will take you. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna fix the mistake. I thought you were my friend. So, I got you some Colombian coffee. I wish I could do more. Maybe you can. According to my lawyer, it's going to be my word against Lee's. She presents herself as this delicate little flower, but she is as twisted as they come, and I can't be the only one who sees that. Friedman knows what he's talking about. This is my life, Will. My daughter. I have to do something. Okay. It's gonna be okay. Where do you want to start? Mm, it rings a bell. Oh, so
so you did... Okay, well, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for talking to me. Uh, your neighbors haven't exactly been forthcoming with me. <laughs> well, this town is like its own little world, and they like to keep it that way. Uh, actually, uh, I used to teach English over at the high school. Lee was, was one of my students. What can you tell me about Lee? Uh, well, uh, you know, Lee was... Well, he was always very intelligent, you know, thoughtful, soulful, actually, uh, but quiet. And she kept to herself, and I always suspected from her behavior that there was problems at home. And could never get her to open up, though. You know, it only got worse after her father screaming match with one of the other students. Got physical. Other girl ended up in the hospital. You know what they were fighting about? Don't know. They wouldn't say. Got suspended for a week, though. Do you remember the other kid's name? Yeah, sure. I remember them all. Uh, Maggie, uh, Maggie Davis. Maggie Davis. Yeah. Lee was unstable. We both were. I started seeing a shrink and things changed for me. I wanted the same for her. Maggie, Lee killed my husband. And help. But she wouldn't. I should have told someone. Told someone what? Lee's father didn't kill himself. She did. But I don't blame her. After everything he did to her. But I can't forget that look in her eyes. It was like some kind of wild animal. I've never been so afraid of someone in my life. You want to take care of mom? Mm, you just stay with mommy. Okay, that should do it. I don't want to go. I know, sweetheart. It's only for one night. Mommy and Mr. Lawrence just have some things to figure out. With the police? With the police. Hey, everything is going to be OK. I promise. Your mom's a very smart lady, Megan. I know. It's a good choice. Come on, sweetie. You're saying she murdered her father and made it look like suicide. I'm not saying it. She did. Talk to her friend Maggie. I will. I'll talk to the local cops. Hell, it wouldn't even be admissible in court. Look, um, Lee's their star witness, right? Couldn't you go to the DA and, and convince them to just hold off? Take a look at the case. I don't know. Maybe. You know, we do have a guest room. I like the sofa. Sometimes I even sleep on it at home. I really appreciate you being here. No problem. I just wish the circumstances could be different. So do I. Key in his wallet. 
Don't you move. You stay right there. What do you want? I thought you were my friend. I thought you would always be my friend. I thought we were soulmates, Sarah. Please. Put the gun down. Let's just talk. So you can lie to me some more? Please, please. Shut up! Shut your mouth after everything I've done for you. You framed me for murder. You gave me no choice. You rejected me. At least no two. What do they know? That you killed your father. My father was a monster. But they couldn't prove that I killed him any more than they can prove that I killed Daniel. I looked up to you, Sarah. Your words spoke to me unlike anyone else's. But in the end, that's all they were. Empty, hollow, meaningless words! Please. If you kill me... I'm not gonna kill you, Sarah. You're gonna kill yourself. Keep it short and sweet. What? You're suicide now. Or should I say poem? It only seems fitting, don't you think? Lee, Lee, think about this. Oh, I have thought about it. It's actually all I've been thinking about, Sarah. What about Will? No one is going to believe that I did that to him. Well, you don't have to worry about Will, because I know how to make someone disappear. Please don't do this. Get busy and make it good. This will be the last poem you ever write. Please. Lee. Megan needs me. I needed you! I needed you, and you turned your back on me! But maybe she'll be my friend. She's with Nina. Please, Lee, please don't. Oh, I need something to remember you by. She is just a little girl. She does not deserve this. But we don't always get what we deserve. But you're going to, so start writing! Okay, okay! rudderless ship, adrift at sea, <laughs> suffering the night, alone, but free. to my home. I'm sending paramedics as we speak. Give me your address and the nearest cross street. Collins. Sarah Miles just left her house. You got her on GPS? Roger that. and get out of there. Hi. What are you doing here? Uh, Sarah told me to come and pick up Megan. She didn't tell me. Well, I'm telling you now, so... I'm gonna have to call her. Hey. Hey there. 
there, sleepyhead. And you, me? Yeah. What are you doing here? It's okay. Hey, come with me, okay? Come on. It's gonna be fine. Come on. Let her go. Stay back. It's okay, sweetie. Me. Your mommy was the best friend I ever had. My only friend, really. She was the only thing keeping me from... Please, put the gun down right now. Slide it over here. Put, put it down. Put it down right now. <laughs> Lee, listen. Listen. How could you do this to me? She's okay. She's gonna be okay. She just needs to get some help. Help? Help? Who's gonna help me? You? I trusted you, Sarah. I did things for you that... Or... No! I thought you cared about me. But you don't. You don't. Nobody does. Nobody ever did. Please. Please. Take care of her. I just want to do thank everybody for being here tonight to help us celebrate the release of Sarah Miles' new collection of poetry entitled After. Sarah has graciously agreed to read uh, a couple of her favorite pieces for us. Sarah. Thank you, Will. These past few months have been difficult. And I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for Will. He's been such a good friend. The first piece that I'm going to be reading is titled Uncharted. Alone in the void you left behind, no refuge from the storm of time. A rudderless ship adrift at sea, suffering the night, Alone, but free. No stars to guide, no wind to flee, just the promise of dawn for her and for me. <laughs> <laughs> 